Okay, this is 6.3, uh, polar coordinates. Polar coordinates are basically how to identify a particular point on a plane rather than using X's and Y's, talking about rotations of a radius. So, for example, um, if you wanted to describe a point, you could say, well, this point is two units away from the origin at a rotational position a 3 pi over 4. Well that would be right here. It's exactly two units away from the origin and, and it rotated around over to 3 pi over 4. So, for example, if I wanted to find the point that is three units away from the origin, here's the origin, I'd go over to 3 and then I would rotate to 315 degrees, which is right here in the middle of the fourth quadrant, so I'd go around the three units away all the way over to the fourth quadrant and it would be that location right there. Not this one. Um, if I wanted something that was two units away from the origin, here's the origin, one, two, at a 60 degree position, that would be right there. If I wanted one that was four units away from the origin, I'd go over one, two, three, four, and rotate 165 degrees. 165 degrees isn't quite 180, it'd be about right there. Um, now, if you uh, start with a negative radius, here is what I propose that you do. I propose that you rotate around first and then do a reflection. So I'm going to pretend this says positive 2, so I'm going to go out to 2, and then I'm going to go to pi, which is exactly halfway around, and then I'm going to do a reflection. So I'm going to reflect this point that's over here back to the other side, and there you go. That is the position for negative 2 pi. You go to 2, you go to pi, and you flip it exactly across. Same thing here. If I pretend this is 1, I'd first go to 1. I'd rotate down to pi over 2, and then because the radius is 1, I would flip that across the origin to the other side. Alright, now, another way to um, talk about this is to talk about it as infinitely many positions, and the way that we do that is we talk about the letter N. N is a counting number. It starts with 0, 1, 2, 3. Now obviously if we're at any position, let's say right here, and I add one full circle, I go around one more time, bam, I get to that same spot again. So that's what, the, what this notation means when you're adding 2 pi N or 2 N pi. It just means that if you add a full circle, you get back to that same spot again. Okay. So if I want to say that 5 uh, would be out here somewhere, if I want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 would be approximately here. And then I wanted to go to pi over 4. Here's pi over 4. It's the same as 45 degrees, so it would be about right there. Okay, so this right here is the position of the point that I'm talking about. Okay, but I want to give this a new name. Uh, if they want me to give this a name where r is positive, which it is, I can say that r is 5. And if, I, if they want the angle to be between 2 pi and 4 pi, that means they want me to rotate here and then around at least one more time. So how would I do that? Well, I know this position right here is pi over 4, right there. And so it goes all the way up to there. Okay, so pi over 4, if I add one full circle to that, if I add 2 pi, um, I could get a ra rotational angle that's more than 2 pi, which is what they want. So pi over 4, if I add 2 pi, I could be adding 8 pi over 4, because that's the same as 2 pi, which would give me 9 pi over 4. 9 pi over 4 is between 2 pi and 4 pi, so that would be a name for this point right here that's not, the, not exactly the same as the original, but it does represent the same point. If r is negative, this isn't too hard. Um, all I have to do is find a position exactly opposite from here and figure out what that degree position would be. Well, if this is pi over 4 or 45 degrees, this one would be 45 degrees or pi over 4 past a half circle. That position is 5 pi over 4, right? 
So remember, we find that position, and then to make it negative, we flip it back across. So that would give me this position again. So go to 5, go to 5 pi over 4, and then making it negative puts us back over here. So if r is negative, I simply have to locate a positive rotational position between 0 and 2 pi that's exactly opposite, and then, bam, it gives me that position again when I rotate around and, and reflect across. So negative 5, 5 pi over 4 would be my second answer. And they want one more name for this position. Okay, this is hard coming up with different names for the same spot that's right here. So if r is positive, obviously the radius has to be 5. But this time they want a negative rotation name. Well, this shouldn't be too hard. If I go to 5 and then I want to rotate all the way over to here, that would give me a, a value between negative 2 pi and 0, not a full negative rotation. Um, so what would that be? That would be negative pi for 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, negative 4 pi over 4, negative 5 pi over 4, negative 6 pi over 4. That position would be negative 7 pi over 4. So this takes a little thinking and a little practice before you get it, but um, hopefully I'll be able to help you answer some questions on that in class. Now, um, numbers 9 and 10. Number 9, this tells you the radius, that's 3, and this tells you the angle of rotation, theta, right? So if you want to change this back into regular rectangular coordinates where we have just an x and a y position, there are these formulas x equals the radius 3 times the cosine of the angle, in this case theta, and y equals the radius times the sine, radius 3, sine of theta, which is pi. Now remember, pi is a position on a unit circle right here, okay? The cosine would be the same as x here, which is negative 1. And the y would be the same as, or the sine would be the same as y, which is 0 at this position at pi, which is 0. Okay, so I get the point negative 3, 0 on an xy system would be the same position as 3 pi. Same thing over here x equals the radius, which is negative 10, times the cosine of pi over 6 y would equal the radius, which is negative 10, times the sine of pi over 6 theta. Pi over 6, um, if you draw that, it's the same as 30 degrees. That's pi over 6, it's small. So this side would be 1 half, and this side would be the square root of 3 over 2. So this is obviously my horizontal side, so this equals negative 10 times the square root of 3 over 2. So if I divide 10 by 2, I get 5, so negative 5 root 3 would be my x value. 1 half is the sine value at pi over 6, so we'd have 10 times 1 half, negative 10, excuse me, and then half of negative 10 is negative 5. So on this one, my coordinate point would be the x value is negative 5 root 3, and the y value is negative 5. <coughs>